Hello there. So today we're going to have a look at our lovely bug house collection. A little bee hotels as they like to be called. And obviously as you can see, it's very active. Got a lot coming in and out. In fact these are brand new ones which I literally only bought a couple of days ago and they're already nicely filling up. These are the older ones, so we've had loads of stuff hatch out. As you can see from the debris there, they've all hatched out. And they've come back. Got the mason bees there, you see them hard at work there. Fin his little house up. The spiders as well, making their presence known if you look up there very opportunistic spider webs going all the way along. Now I am standing very close to these bees because I know from past experience they're not going to sting me because there's no need to really. I'm not causing them any harm, I'm not wiggling around in front of them, I'm not doing anything dodgy. I'm going to sit here quite nicely, we're not moving around and also Brody. Do you like the bees, bro? Are you looking at the bees? <laughs> Do you like the bees? Yeah. Yeah? They're pretty, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, that one's a nice one. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, I mean, to give you an example of how close we are to them, I want to touch me on the hand, we're here. Now, the idea of this is for me to teach Brody not to be scared, oh god, I'm going to look here, not to be scared of bees. So I don't want to be like flapping his arms around if a bee comes near him and he accidentally gets stung because of it. If he's used to just standing still near them, hopefully we'll teach him how to be around bees so he's never going to get stung. I mean, I'm lucky enough to say I have never been stung because at a young age my granddad basically said to me, don't move and they won't hurt you. And I've been lucky. I know people get, like, some people get accidentally stung when they sort of like step on them or they when they step on them, or they may be... Or they may be like, have them under a cover and they've got to move the cover or got to pick something up and accidentally get stung that way. That does happen. But a lot of people get stung because they sort of like, oh my God, there's a bee. It's like throwing their arms around and stuff. And that usually aggravates the bee. Bee thinks he's being attacked and will sting you. That one's really yellow that's winning now. If he'll come out, hopefully he'll come out. It's like a real, real deep yellow on him. No, he's in there doing his thing. I mean, they go really deep. So what they do, I'll explain what they're doing. They go into these holes. They'll make a tiny little chamber, fill it with a little bit of pollen, and they'll seal it. Then they'll come out, go back in again, make another little chamber again so they'll have like three or four chambers in these tubes and they'll put an egg in each one and as the uh, time goes on they'll hatch out I mean if you look at that debris just if I can see it I think I can see it I can't really see the camera lens it makes the sun's on it there's like some stuff there and that is what will come out but yeah, there's like pollen in there so that what will happen is the egg will then hatch over winter and it will eat the pollen and the food they put in there for the bee and it will grow from a larvae into one of these bees and in the summer in May they'll emerge in early May they'll start to emerge and then they'll go and the babies then come out and do their thing yeah so pretty cool so we end up with like um, I found a picture the other day I'll try and stick it on here now Yeah, so as you can see, that's how they sort of have their little chambers. I'd love one of those type of bee houses, to be honest with you, the, sort of the ones you can see. And I might actually invest in one of those maybe this year. We'll see how we go. So you can actually take the sides off of these special type of bee hotels and actually see the bees, what they're doing. So I might put one of those up there. I might put it just in that little spot there. We've got nothing there at the minute. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed looking at the bees. Have you enjoyed the bees? Are you going to wave at them? Say bye bye bees, bye bye bees. <laughs>